Welcome everyone and thank you so much for clicking on to this video in which I will be reading out this letter from a prisoner in Bangkok. My name is Ian Yarwood and I'm a lawyer here in Perth, Western Australia. Now as many of you know the niche of this channel is the covering of violent crimes, suspicious deaths, criminally negligent acts and cover-ups on the Thai island of Koh Tao that are not always well covered by the mainstream media. So please do go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so, if you wish to keep up to date with this sort of content that you might find very difficult uh, to find elsewhere. Also, if you would like YouTube to suggest this video and videos like it to other viewers of YouTube, then please go ahead and uh, click the like and um, button below and leave a positive comment below as well. Now those very very simple acts can be a huge benefit to shining a light on the problems there on Koh Tao. So please go ahead and do so. Now as the world starts to open up to international travel it is important for us to remind each other of the various dangers and the relative dangers of uh, different travel destinations and also to remember the scapegoats who are currently languishing in a Thai prison for the murders committed by others. Okay, so let's uh, get stuck into this letter. Now this is the envelope it came in and you can see we've got uh, the stamps there which uh, feature the current uh, king who is King Rama X and you can see that it was censored on the 6th of September 2021. And this is the letter itself which I will read to you. I might uh, hesitate a little bit at times because some of the handwriting is a little bit challenging. But it reads as follows. Dear Ian David Yarwood, and by the way it's dated the 1st of September 2021. Dear Ian David Yarwood, I got your letter that you sent to me dated the 5th of July 2021. I'm glad to hear from you again. I don't forget you and I always think about you what you are doing and where you are and if you are okay with your own. It was very wonderfully kind of you to continue to post information about my story on the internet. I thank you very much for taking the time helping on my case that will keep the media interested in me and I also thank you so much for what you have done for me over the six years. You are one of my good friends as well as supporters in my life. Last year of September, the general's followers, this must be the military ruler of uh, Myanmar or Burma, last year of December, the general's followers came to see me and told me that they would do a treaty for me of being transferred to Myanmar. This year they have not visited me yet. Maybe they cannot come due to this COVID-19 and the prison is closed sometimes due to COVID-19. I got the COVID-19 infection and some prisoners were dead here in prison due to this virus. But now we all are okay and the situation is almost back to normal. Can you please find the address of General and send it to me? I hope you will do and send it to me. Take good care of yourself. Sincerely yours, Zor Lin. Okay, well I'll do what I can as far as that is concerned, but there may be viewers of this channel who are able to either contact the Myanmar Embassy faster than I can, and perhaps with more influence than I have, and perhaps uh, people who can contact uh, Myanmar's uh, foreign office in uh, Rangoon. and. Uh, and see what they can do to at least have someone contact Zor Lin and his co-accused Wai Pyo to help them. Now uh, I did mention that uh, I had been trying to help them in the past. Uh, what I've done is I've actually posted uh, images like this of um, his address and that's uh, Zorlin's mother as you can see. I've posted these sorts of images on uh, Facebook and on uh, Twitter as well as on YouTube. 
so there's another part of the same of the same screenshot and there's YPO's mother the other one was Zorlin's mother and you can see their address there as well so I'd encourage anyone uh, who wishes to to uh, send them a card or letter to let them know that uh, the world has not forgotten them they do appreciate the incoming mail they've not been able to send out as much mail as they could in previous years uh, this is uh, there was a change after they lost their last appeal and so that's uh, the entire screenshot or one of the many screenshots I have posted on the internet and here is another one some of you may recognize some of those images there's one uh, image of uh, Zorlin being pushed around having to reenact a crime according to a script of the Thai police and there's the iconic image below which was taken by um, Reuters this is one of the many places I have been uh, posting those uh, images it is uh, the the first page it comes from the first page of my Facebook page called Koh Tao Death Island and this is the Twitter page on which I sometimes post their address so I'll now read for you the the words of the card that I sent him on the 5th of July that he refers to in his letter so this was from the 5th of July 2021 and I wrote simply hi is all in I hope you are uh, I hope you are okay despite the very difficult circumstances you are still in I know that I have not written to you for a long time but I promise that I have always been very busy sharing your story with the world I continue to post information on social media such as Twitter Facebook and YouTube I also publish information on internet forums my YouTube channel is growing I have published over 80 videos about Koh Tao now often journalists contact me for additional details about crimes on Koh Tao one interesting thing that happens is that as my Facebook audience and YouTube audience grows more people contact me to tell me their stories of being victims of crime on Koh Tao sometimes I post requests for my viewers and readers to send you cards and letters too. best wishes Ian Yarwood so I guess that's what I'm doing again now um, I would just ask you as well if you are still viewing to remember to uh, drop the young men a, a line whether it's a simple card that was just a card it didn't take me very long to write that card but a card or a letter they uh, are starving for outside stimulation so that they um, have some contact with the rest of the world and uh, look I'll do what I can to uh, get that letter in front of relevant authorities um, within the uh, Myanmar or Burmese government whether they are uh, in Myanmar or whether they are at the embassy in, uh, in Bangkok and uh, if any of you can do the same that would be absolutely great so look thank you so much for viewing this far if you have uh, thought there was any benefit in the video please give it a thumbs up leave a positive comment below I do read all of them and I certainly appreciate all of the comments and all of the efforts people go to to support the channel and I um, just want to give out one final thank you to everyone who has been following this channel and everyone who's uh, clicked the like button and shared the video and supported the, the uh, videos on this channel in any way at all thank you once again have a pleasant day and stay safe bye for now